Now, I don't know where the line is between being lazy and just setting things up so that it's really, really quick and convenient to do. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the template button in a normal page and a template button in the databases of Notion just to speed up your workflow. Stick around and I'll tell you how. The word template in Notion can actually be quite confusing because you have a template button, which you can use the slash command and find the template button for. You could use templates in a database and then people talk about selling or duplicating templates. So the template button in a page, when you select that block, because that's what it is, it's a block in Notion, you're given different options. Now, the first option is just the name of the button. So the name that's going to appear. Then inside the template, you can put different blocks. So what you're doing is you're putting blocks inside a template block. What you will see when you close down this configuration is just that name, the header of the button block, the template button block. Then when you push the button, all of the blocks that you've put inside of that button will then get spewed out. So you can see I have heading one and a bullet list block. They're two different blocks inside of the template button configuration, which will go into the block. When you are outside of that configuration of the template button, you can then add different blocks. Any blocks that you want in Notion, you can add. You could add databases, anything that you can build inside a normal Notion page, you can build, and then you can drag and drop it inside the template. So you can see you get that blue line inside the configuration box or outside. When you drop it inside, what you're doing is dropping different Notion blocks inside of that one template button block. What this means is when we close this down, you only have one block that shows, and that's add heading one, because that's the name of the template button block that we've put in. Then when we push it, it's going to basically throw out all of the other blocks that we had inside that configuration. You could think of this as like a duplicate button. So anything you have inside the template button, when you push the button, you're duplicating everything inside of it. So each page you generate from pushing the button is a duplicate of the page you have inside the template button. So if I push that template button three different times, you will get three duplicates of that page. Now, because of the design in Notion to actually get columns inside the template button, you have to use something to kind of trick Notion into making the columns in there. So what I've done is I've created a page and inside the page I've created columns using two text blocks. Now I'm going to drag that page into my template button and then I'm going to turn the page into text. What that does is then throw out those two text columns and now I have two columns inside my template button. So when I close this down and push the button, I've got column one and column two. And you can do the same process with three columns, four columns. You could put databases next to one another. It's entirely up to you. And the formatting inside the template button will stay the same when you push it and it duplicates all of that information. The template option in the database works pretty much the same way, but inside the database, it's instead of it every time you push a button, you can create numerous templates for whatever entry. So you can see you get that option to edit a template or when you go into the database, you get the option to create a template. Now, when you push that, you go into a setting, which basically is a page. So you're creating a page inside of the database. So at the moment, I'm creating a template page inside of table and I've named it template one. Now, whatever I put inside of this page is the same as putting it inside of that template block configuration. Now, when I go to the arrow, I can edit that template. So what this is, is this is the page. This is the duplicatable page that I'm going to duplicate every time I push that template inside the database page. So I've created a new page in the database and I'm going to push the essentially the template button inside that page. If you type in the page, you can see the option to use the template disappears. So if we go into another page, you can see as I push that essentially template button inside of this database, it duplicates that template page that we created and turns it into this page. 
If we were to then go back to the template in this database and add an emoji, it's given us a Christmas tree, so thanks Notion, it's not Christmas, but anyway. Now when I go back into that first page that I typed words into, I can get rid of that block, click on the template, and now the updated version of the template is now put into this page. So new page now has the new template one duplicate in there. So all of the headings, all the icons, everything is now put into this page. I can do the same thing for the other page. So previously we used the template one button in this page, but we've now updated the template. Notion doesn't automatically update the database template when you do it. So you have to go into the page and update it manually, which can be a bit of a drawback, but I would mainly use templates when you're generating something from scratch, generate something new or something repeated, like a repeated project, a repeated task, a repeated goal or anything like that. You can also add properties into that template of the database because essentially that template page is just one page that you're going to duplicate. So if I put to do in the tags property, when I push that template one, the to do, the icon, everything that is in that template will be duplicated into this page. And then you can add, take away and change the page from there. But it gives you a skeleton structure to work from. If you're interested to learn more about how I use Notion, make sure you check out this video over here and I'll see you there.